and welcome to WP Themes Tutorial episode 32. Today we're going to start a series. Uh, in this series we're going to add some custom meta to our taxonomies. So in this case we're going to use categories but I'll show you how you could use it for any type of taxonomy. And then we're actually going to uh, use that taxonomy uh, data on the front end. So for this series we're going to assume that our client wants to add header images to our categories just so that they have something visual uh, on the page to spice it up a little bit. You can see here to start that I've got a plugin name and it's called random taxonomy images and I've called it that because we're going to add a few other scenarios in our next and our next screencasts in the series. And in there all I've got is a normal plugin header, the normal free software declaration and that's it. So what we're going to start with is we're going to start by adding our class that we're going to use to wrap the, sorry, the class that we're going to use to wrap our custom taxonomy meta. So we have our class. And I always like to label the end of it just because it makes it easier to read. And then right at the bottom of our class we always need to start it. We need to inst instantiate it. Oh, that's not what we wanted. So we're going to go WPTT tax image equals new WPTT tax oh, image. And so now we've got our class set up. Next thing we're going to need to do is call our first function inside there and for that we're going to use the construct function. And that function uh, inside a class just always gets called. I always like to label the end of my functions as well. When you get a big class it just makes it way easier to read. And so the next thing we're going to do is start adding our custom meta to our taxonomy. We're going to do this with two actions. So you can see we're adding an action to category add form fields. If we're going to use for a custom taxonomy, we'll say tags in this instance, or any taxonomy, we'll say tags in this instance, we'd say tag, and that would change it to tags. If we had a custom taxonomy called region, it would be region add form fields. For us, it's category add form fields. And because we're inside a class, we're using an array. An array says this, which means call inside our class. And we're going to call the function add tax image field. So let's add that function now. So you can see we're adding that function. And this is for when we're going to add a new uh, taxonomy or a new term to our taxonomy. And all we're doing here is putting out some HTML. So we're doing a div class form field. We're labeling it. We're going to call it tax image. So we need to remember tax image. This is what we're going to use later to call it back out. Putting a proper label in there, putting a text input, and then giving it no value and giving a little bit of instructions to our users. So if I save that, and we'll go back to our browser. You can see I'm on the categories now. And this is just a clean install of WordPress with the 2013 theme active and the um, theme unit test data active as well. And we now have our taxonomy image field right here. So that's good, but say I want to add one to this taxonomy of ACI form. Well, it's not there. And you can see right here, it's called edit tax image field. That's because our second action here, category edit form fields, is trying to call the edit tax image field function, which I don't have yet. So I can pull that out from my other screen. And this one is just a little different because on the edit, we could have some data already. So edit tax image field passes in the term, which is our term object. Out of that, the first thing we need to do is get our term ID. And we're going to assign that to the variable, or yeah, to the variable term ID. 
and then we're going to get a term meta. And now, custom post meta you normally store um, with the custom post meta uh, functions, which are add post meta, update post meta. Now, there isn't technically functions to do that for taxonomies. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this inside um, our get option, which is just a general options table inside WordPress. And we're going to call taxonomy underscore term ID by our variable. So if we're editing, in this case, we're editing taxonomy and our term ID is two, because you can see the ID right there, term ID two. So that would be taxonomy underscore two. And then I'm defining image, because remember when we're on edit, if we defined a new one and added an image to it right away, then this would have a value already. So we're gonna say image is term meta, and this is a one line conditional statement. So what this means is basically if there's term meta, then I want the image to be equal tax image. And if not, it equals nothing. And then we have our basic HTML, which is the same as above, except it's in a table. So our table row, table header, our label, our input. You can see right at the end here, we are using a proper escape function called escape URL because we should have a full path to an image here, which is a URL. And we're calling that on image, which we defined back on line 67. And then we're adding our description. So if we save that and refresh, and you can see we now have our taxonomy image right there. And let's try. So if we were just adding an image there, an update, you notice this is going to bump me out every time, but nothing because we don't actually have our save functions yet. So let's grab two more actions. And we're going to add those back up inside our construct function. And again, they are edited category. So right here, if this was for region, we change that to edited region and create. So one is when you're editing and you save, and one is when you've create, you're creating a new one and you save. And they're going to call the save tax meta function with a 10 and 2. So that's the priority and the number of parameters that are allowed through. And then I'm going to grab that save taxonomy function. And you can see here what we're doing is we are checking if our post variable. So when you submit, it's going to submit a post variable of term meta. And we called that up here. We're calling it term meta, term meta is set. So if that's set, then I'm going to get my term ID again, which is passed through the function by the action. And I'm going to define term meta array as an empty array. And then I'm going to take that term meta array and add tax image to it. Now remember tax image is what we called up here. You can see Sublime likes to highlight every instance of it. And then I'm going to doing a one line conditional again. So basically this means if it's set, if post meta term meta, which is our image, right? So post term meta and our value of tax image is set, then it's equal to escape URL again, because we want to sanitize our data inside the database, term meta tax image. If it's not set, then it equals nothing. And the final thing we're going to do is update option. And again, that's why we called our term ID or TID and taxonomy. So in this case, underscore two is equal to term meta. So we're going to update. Now that says update. If you've never done it before, then it's still going to create a new one. That's the nice thing about the update function. It just creates it if you don't have it already. So let's save that. And now let's try it again. And you can see, there you go. We are now saving a URL properly and we're sanitizing it. That's it for this installment. Next installment, we're gonna start displaying our images on the front end. And in the third screencast, we're gonna actually have a default uh, image and we're gonna have a, actually a default random image out of a special folder in our theme. Thanks for watching.